Welcome to GTV. Today I will be installing an auxiliary contact on the ABB T-Max Series T1, T2, and T3 enclosed circuit breakers. These circuit breaker accessories should only be installed with the breaker out of circuit or when all power has been removed from device, control panel, and anything nearby that may be a hazard to the qualified electrician doing the installation. The auxiliary contact kits come with either two or four single pole double throw contacts. Mounting adapters for the T1, T2, and T3 model circuit breakers and device labels. These are the T1, T2, and T3 circuit breakers. To install the auxiliary contact, I will need to set the circuit breakers in test position by switching the breaker to off, then on, and then by pushing the test button here. Once they are in test position, I can remove the screws and take off the front plate. As you can see, the T2 model has a protective cover where this accessory will go. This cover is not present on the T1 or T3 models. To remove the cover, I will gently grab it by the tab and easily pull it straight off. This cover will not be used once the auxiliary contact unit is installed, so I will set it aside for recycling. Next, I will remove this side cover where the wires will be routed. This is easily done by sliding it in the grooves toward the front of the breaker until it is released. I will reinstall this in a moment, so I will set it aside for now. Now I will install the mounting adapter. There is a separate mounting adapter for each type of circuit breaker. For the T1 circuit breaker, I'll select the black adapter, which is also marked with T1, molded in the plastic. There is also extra plastic molded on the adapter that is just there for making installation of this part easier. The extra plastic looks like a small flag with a mast, which is connected to the working portion of the adapter by a narrow connection point. Once installed, this installation feature will be removed by rocking the flag and mast back and forth until the parts separate at the narrowing. But first, I will insert the taper tab into the slot at the back of the accessory port on the right side of the breaker. The adapter is seated properly when the flag portion of the extra plastic bottoms out on the side of the frame. Now the extra plastic or flag and mast can be rocked back and forth until it separates from the working part of the adapter. The extra plastic can now be removed and set aside for recycling while the rest of the adapter can remain in the circuit breaker. For the T2 circuit breaker, I'll select the gray adapter which is also marked with T2 molded in the plastic. I'll insert the tapered tab into the slot at the back of the accessory port on the right side of the breaker. The adapter is seated properly when it drops all the way down freely into the slot. For the T3 circuit breaker, I'll select the off-white adapter, which is also marked with T3 molded in the plastic. I will insert the taper tab into the slot at the back of the accessory port while the tab on the right slides into the grooves on the right side of the circuit breaker frame. The adapter is seated properly when it drops all the way down freely into the slot. To install the auxiliary contact block, I will insert the bottom of the block into the mounting port on the breaker first. Then I will push the top into place while aligning the captive screw in the block with the mounting hole at the top of my mounting port. It may take a little finesse to get the block seated properly, but once it is fitted flush, I can use a Phillips screwdriver to fasten the auxiliary to the frame with the captive screw. The wires should be routed along the wire channel on the outside of the circuit frame. The wire channel cover can be shortened so that the wires can exit the channel right at the surface of the enclosure panel when the circuit breaker is surface mounted. To shorten the cover, I'll bend it back and forth here where it has been pre-scored and notched by the manufacturer until the part separates. Then the wire channel cover can be slid back into place. Now I will reinstall the front cover and fasten the screws to the frame. Finally, I will apply the legend decals on the side of the breaker for future reference. 
This completes the installation of the auxiliary contact to the T-Max series of circuit breakers. To find out more about this product and its accessories, please check out our other videos on GTV. ABB's T-Max series accessories, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.